So you want to be able to convert a Fisher projection to a zigzag bond line structure. What's important to remember about a Fisher projection is that it is a completely eclipsed structure. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that all of the side groups are on wedges. And the molecule is almost a pseudo ring. So if we were going to number these carbons, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and say we were standing on the screen looking at the molecule, so this is our left eye, and our right eye is here, this is what we would see. Here's carbon one. And um, carbon two, with the hydroxyl group on the wedge. Since it's on the uh, right hand side of the molecule closer to us, carbon three, the hydroxyl would be on a dash. So, so far we're one, two, three. Carbon four, a hydroxyl would be on a wedge because it's closer to us again on the right hand side of the molecule. Carbon five, the hydroxyl on a wedge. And um, carbon six is not a chirality center. Okay, so that is what the Fisher projection is showing you. All right. So now um, we want to convert this into a zigzag bond line structure. Okay, so here's what we have to do. Um, first thing is we want to flip every other chirality center. So I'm going to flip, whoops. I am going to flip carbon 3 around, and I'm going to flip carbon 5. Okay, and now what we're going to have is a side view of uh, this structure. So carbon 1 is unchanged, as is carbon 2. Carbon 3 is flipped. So now the hydroxyl is on the right side on a wedge, and the hydrogens on the left side. Sorry, on dashes, both of those. Carbon four is unchanged. Hydroxyl to the right on a wedge, hydrogen to the left on a wedge, and carbon five is flipped. So that puts the hydrogen on the right on a dash, and the hydroxyl on the left on a dash. And then here's carbon six at the bottom. Okay. So now, if we're going to look at it from the same point of view as before with our left eye here and our right eye here, here is what we're going to see. All right, so it's important to remember that um, when you have your side groups on a wedge, that is at the top of the zigzag, and when you have your side groups on a dash, that is at the bottom of the zigzag. So, using the same numbering scheme, one, two, three, four, five, and six, um, carbon two is at the top, three is at the bottom, four is at the top, five is at the bottom, and six, course is not a chirality center. Carbon 1 has the aldehyde. And then on carbon 2 the hydroxyl is on a wedge. On carbon 3 the hydroxyl is on a wedge. On carbon 4 
the hydroxyl is on a wedge. And on carbon 5, since it's on the left-hand side of the molecule, it's on a dash. Right. So now the wedges and dashes, stuff that's on a wedge is on the right-hand side of a modified Fischer projection. Right. Stuff that's on a dash is on the left-hand side. 